Hello everyone, my name is Ark and welcome to my channel. Now today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be doing a Starship Showcase. Now for those few of you who do watch my channel, you may be wondering, why am I doing a Starship Showcase? I usually do roleplay series. Well, this isn't a normal Starship Showcase. Right behind me, this Starship over here, I'm going to be showing you what happens when we retrofit this ship with current and modern blocks. Now some of you may recognize this Starship and it has been on the Steam Workshop for several years. The ship creator, JD Horks, made this in 2015, during the beginning of Space Engineers, and since then, there have been several new blocks and features added to the game. Now, before we get started, I want to make two things very clear. One, I am not here to take credit for this ship. Everything in this video, including the retrofitted ship, will be owned by JD Horks. And two, I am not here to criticize about this ship. I for one think that it's a very nice ship. I like the design, I like the weapon placements, and I like the high maneuverability. The ship creator did an excellent job building a starfighter with the limited blocks he had at that time. And before I show you the retrofitted starfighter, I am fully aware that there are several different ways the ship could have been retrofitted. This is just my example and my interpretation of what the Age of Starfighter could look like when it's been retrofitted. Now that we got that out of the way, let us begin. Now this indeed is a very nice ship. Currently it is outfitted with 4 Gatling turrets and 2 missile launchers. Right now it is mounted with 2 braking thrusters, 4 sideways thrusters on each side of the ship, 2 large and 2 small forward thrusters, six upward thrusters and four downward thrusters this ship also has nine cargo containers five reactors one antenna and one beacon as of right now this ship is currently only space worthy and because of years of updates the ship's reactors and batteries can no longer keep up with the current demand of power. However, setting that problem aside, we can see that this ship has a high acceleration compared to most starfighters, able to reach the average top speed in just under 12 seconds. Now that we've seen its maneuverability capabilities, how about we test out its weapons and firepower? Currently here, we are testing its missiles capabilities. And as you can see, with its dual missile turrets, it has no problem snuffing out small starfighters. This test also proves that this starfighter can also handle a volley of rockets, from 4 to 6 at a time, before it's rendered immobile. Next, we will test its Gatling gun emplacements. Currently, the volley took 7 seconds to immobilize the ship. That is, of course, if you have a clear line of shot and are close enough and in range. As you can see, the Gatling guns were able to shred through the light armor and have an easier time tearing through the ship. So if you ever find yourself fighting this starfighter, I suggest using the Gatling gun, as it has an easier time shredding through the armor. Now that we've seen the capabilities of the ship, I can say for certain that this was a well-made starfighter. It has well-placed weapon emplacements, its maneuverability is great in combat, and its small nimble design makes it hard for enemies to shoot at. Now that we've seen the original, how about we take a look at the retrofitted version? Here we currently have the Ager Retrofitted Starfighter. Now once again, I will say this. This belongs to the owner and the owner himself as the current design copies the original. Now currently, this Starfighter has the same 4 Gatling turrets and 2 missile turrets. But, compared to its predecessor, it features more thrusters and more reactors. As you can probably see, 
there are currently now four backwards thrusters on the ship, providing more braking thrust in case of an emergency. We still have four sideways thrusters on either side of the ship. And the same goes from bottom and forward. But now we currently have six upward thrusters unlike the two on the original. Now of course I tried to keep the paint design the same as possible. Currently with the retrofitted version it features one less cargo container but three more nuclear reactors. This version also features a oxygen generator in case you are out in space for a long time. Although the ship still currently has the same amount of acceleration thrusters, with its new two deceleration thrusters it's able to brake at a much faster speed. Now onto its attack power. Although the ship does add several new light armor blocks, it still has the same amount of defensive capabilities, still being able to be shot out by 4 to 6 missile turrets. And the same goes for the Gatling guns, still being able to shot out after 7 seconds of barrage. Now I hope you all liked my interpretation of what would happen if we retrofitted the Age of Starfighter with modern blocks. Now of course I know I've been saying this throughout the video, but I'd like to say once more, all credit goes to HD Horks, as this is his design and his ship. Now thank you all for watching, and before you leave, please comment down below in how I can improve these videos, as I am a new YouTuber, and all comments and suggestions will be greatly appreciated. And if you would like to see me retrofit more old space engineer ships, please subscribe to my channel. Now thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye!